Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kitty and today as you can see I'm going to show you some more of my artwork. Um, today it's going to be the 9x12s and I'm hoping to get to the 10x10s. I actually don't have very many of the 9x12s so I figured I'd go ahead and show you both sizes. Um, but these are actually 8x10s. I forgot about them on my last video, but um, these were actually, let me see, I did mark them because I couldn't remember how they went. So they actually do go like that. It's my first try to diptych. But um, yeah, and they were actually, um, and I noticed I do this a lot. So I'll try not to do that too much because they're so soft. But these both are resined because, again, it was another varnish fail. Um, so these two, um, being two 8x10s, these two are $60 if you guys are interested. If not, then still wanted to show you because these ones were, these ones came out pretty cool. I'll show you one. I'll show you one at a time here. They do have, I, I really don't remember the colors, but they do have some shimmer to them. All up in here and in here. You see the dendrites in there. Or fractals, dendrites. Come on now. It's a little bit in there, but. I know I have quite a few paintings to show you guys, so I'll try not to. Here's some. Try not to, um, you know, go on for so long on each painting. But you see the shimmer right there. They're pretty. So, yeah, these were actually my last 8x10s that I had. And this is a set. So, yeah, there they are, you guys. Thought I'd show you those. They are resin, so... Those ones are 60. Okay, on to the 9x12s. I was getting braver as I went bigger in size. I love this one. This was my first attempt with manganese blue and Prussian blue. And white and I think black. I mean, probably not black though. Looks more... But look! I love this painting it is so pretty how cool is that cells isn't that cool I love that one it's so pretty very blue Alright, so get that one is number one. And if you guys watch my red and black series, this one is number two. And I don't remember what number it was on that series, but this was my little mini flip and drag. Um, yeah, red and black came out pretty cool. Kind of almost like flamed out there so that's number two of the 9 by 12s number three is also from the red and black series this was I believe a flip cup this one came out pretty cool too. Dried, I believe, just like it was when I left it. It's got some pretty cool cells in there. Varnished. All of these are varnished. Yes, all the 9x12s are varnished. Okay, number four was trying out different colors again. 
I believe I had done an 8x10 with the same colors, but and decided to go bigger and a little more of the turquoise, I think it is. This is very, very, color very colorful. Almost looks kind of undersea-ish, if that makes sense. I don't know, kind of like in the background, like there's like some coral or something going up there. I don't know. Very, very cool though. Alright, that's number four. And number five, if you watched my pink and black series, this is one of those. This is how this one turned out. This was... I don't know, I think I just I just poured it like that. Got some I don't know if they're called dendrites or fractals. Fractals? Dendrites? I got some of those there. It looks pretty cool. All just pink it pinks and black. It came out cool. Wasn't really sure as far as orientation. I don't know. There you go. Number five. <clears throat> Number six was my very first after I had watched Sherry from Sherry's Life. Um, I tried the Saran Wrap. And these paints had silicone in them, so. But I did learn from this one. And I see, I do it. I'm, I keep doing that. But um, I did learn, and I will be doing it again. But this is what I, this is what I came out with. It's purples and of course blues and teals. Cause you know, I don't know. I've always got to do my first stuff, purple and blue. But it's not quite flowers, but it's not. It's it's pretty. Alright, that is number six. And the last one, I believe you all just watched the video, is my first string pull. So this is how it dried. Just like it looked when I left it. Come on now, people want to see. Focus. Come on. Wonder why it isn't focusing. Okay. I think it still came out pretty cool. I like how the the little feathery look came out. And it's so red. Like it is so pretty. And like I've said in previous videos, like I've never been a red fan, I've never been a green fan or yellow, you know, a lot of different colors that I'm, gold, <laughs> yeah, never really been a fan, but when I started this, between then and now, I have so much more appreciation for different colors, and this one looks just awesome, <laughs> I like it. A lot. So there you go. That is the last one of the 9x12s, number 7. So I'm going to start the 10x10s. So number 1 is one from the New Year's Eve party, poor party that Christina and Ellen Welch put on 2018-19. Um, so this one is so pretty. It's got purples and golds and I think there's a blue in there. It's so pretty. Love this one too. Oh, see, I find myself doing that. I don't know why, but it's so pretty. Varnished. 
So there's number one, and that is just cool. I love that corner. Isn't that cool? Love it. All right, number one. Number two of the 10 by 10s. <laughs> I tried another puddle pour, and it didn't turn out. And I think I did something else. And then I did more puddles and then just kind of played with it a little bit. But I couldn't, I just, I had to keep it. <laughs> it's pretty, it's got blues and I'm not sure if there's any, there's gotta be purple in there because you know, that's what I do, but yeah. So that was another attempt at a puddle pour. All right, number two. <clears throat> number three is the bigger size of that, what was it? Eight by 10 that I had done, that I told you guys I had a bigger one of. And it was done around the time for the, uh, the New Year's Eve pour party that I was talking about. And funny thing is, is that on the back, I had a little note telling me the colors, because I couldn't remember the colors. So, yeah. But here's the bigger size. To my 10. And there are... Uh, black, metallic, bright, bright copper. Uh, dark chocolate, because I didn't have the Van Dyke Brown at the time. Orange, crimson, and gold. So this is what I came up with when we did that. This is the bigger one, sorry. Bring it down. Just not wanting to focus today. So there's this one. Very cool. And this one, number four, is my, I think it was my first attempt, maybe? Now, besides the one with the silicone in my paint, this was my first um, attempt at a Dutch pour without the silicone. And I did it on sky blue background because I absolutely love it. And I think, I'm sure there's Prussian blue in there. Or, um, yeah, manganese. But it is in silver, I think. Because I did some coasters with the same colors. And look how cool that looks. I, I really love this one. I know I say that a lot, but I, I'm, I'm getting better, I feel. And I've been told. And thank you, everybody who has told me that. I really appreciate it. But I love this one. It's so pretty and so soft. Oh my gosh. Love it. Alright. Number four. And there was not a video with that one. But this next one, I believe I did a video. And love it. <laughs> Another one I love. This one was my leftover paint pour. Um, tree ring. That I never would have thought these colors would have come out like this because it looks amazing like this little hint of it was like yellow and green and purples and blues and I just did not think in teal I think I don't know I just I did not think that this would come out of that and I was just so amazed it's so pretty so pretty I love it Look at those rings, how cool is that? Got the blue and the teal and with the purple and... And you got just that little bit, which I'm glad I didn't lose. Very pretty. This one's so pretty. <clears throat> yeah, alright, that was number five. Alright, number six, I believe I did a video on. This was another tree ring. And I think it was leftover paint too. 
I honestly don't remember. But, um, it came out very nice. I like it. I think it's purples and blues because, well, not really sure I need to say more purples and blues. But look at those rings. How cool are those? Love them. Some cells. It's very cool. Very pretty. Love it. See? Love them all. Can't keep them all. That was number six. And number seven, I did a video for. This was my Fire and Ice. My first one, I believe. It came out pretty cool. I love the way it dried. Try to get y'all up here a little bit. Without the camera freaking out. out really pretty. I like it. That was number seven. Number eight was my attempt at a bottle bottom pour. And there is a video for this. And I always watch my videos before I post them. And as I'm watching it, I'm yelling at myself to stop. And I didn't because well you know so now i know but this is what became of that bottle bottom pour that i had attempted <laughs> i will try it again at some point but this is it came out really cool it's almost like a a bird here and then there's like the sky i don't know it's very cool though and i and it's funny because i did leave that one little spot So there's that one. We're almost done, guys. That one's pretty cool, too. Of course, you know, purples and blues. Alright, that was number eight. <clears throat> number nine was, um, is another one of, from the pink series. Pink and black. Look at the, <laughs> look at the glitter on this puppy. This one is so sparkly and pretty. I'll try to get, there you go. It came out so, so cool. And I've got like glare, glare galore in here. It's really pretty. I don't remember which number it was on the pink and black series, but... And it's got, of course, glitter on it. But yeah, there's that one. That was number nine. <clears throat> number ten was also in the pink and black series. It does look pretty dark. I think this was um, my boiler maker. I think. And I've, I've come to realize I'm not very good with those. <laughs> but, um, but I'll keep practicing. But this is, this is what came of that. And it, it might look dark, but in person, it looks, it's very, very cool. You can see all that. And this is just pink and black. No, no white. It's just the way the pink reacted with the black. With, with all of it. Very cool. Yeah, it does look really dark, but like see right there, that's that's what it looks like. It's very pretty. <clears throat> Alright, so these last three are resined. And they were actually, I had them as all varnish fails. But I fixed every one of them. 
all it is they are smooth well protected resined and I love every one of them that's why I wanted to save them all you know so this one was actually poured on the the paint pour party New Year's Eve I done two of these and I believe on my first live auction I believe Monica Monica Tia I believe she got the first one so this was the other one and I finally fixed it because look how cool that is I love that little section right there all those cells and it's green and it's so pretty so pretty yeah it's very cool I love that right there yeah love it so yeah that is number 11 resin <clears throat> and this one same thing for a party and this was one of my absolute favorites and that's one of the reasons why I had to save it because the colors I just love um, I know I have the list of colors somewhere but and I wish you guys could see I mean I hope you guys can see the colors of it it is just so so pretty I was so bummed when the varnish wouldn't do what I wanted it to do and I had such a hard time with it so bummed because it this is so pretty and then knowing that I could fix it with the resin and the resin I use is stone coat I use stone coat art coat resin um, so if you guys are afraid to try it or whatever just you guys really need to I was afraid to but you know it's got a, a great working time and um, I mean look what it does like it's fixed so many of my paintings that I thought I would have to throw away or something you know and I they're so pretty I love this one but um yeah stone coat art coat resin is, is amazing you know so resin beautiful love it really one of my favorites because you know I have a lot all right you guys last one and it is resin um, it was not part of the poor party I just picked some colors myself and um, I did it <clears throat> so this one at one point I, I was always thinking of Nate Sarami who likes to embellish and he's amazing at it and at one point I thought of Under the Sea, where was it? Yeah, Under the Sea, like some way, I don't remember which way it was, but I, I could see like coral and little fishies, but this, I know there's purple in here because I see it, and of course the yellow, and there's some teal in there. I hope you guys can see all the pretty prettiness. But I saved this one too because of varnish. And it came out really, really awesome. Love it. That little guy looks like something now. I just don't know what. But, yep. That's it, you guys. There you go. And I'm looking around for sure again. I mean, I have one, but <clears throat> this one I will show you, but it's not for sale. This is what I actually have on my business cards, part of it. Not the same color, which I'm kind of bummed. But this is my business card, and this is part of my painting. I don't remember where. Um, somewhere. But yeah, this is, this is what my business cards are made out of. 
And I love it. I think this one was actually a strainer pour that I tried <laughs> a long time ago. But I love it. It hangs right over there on my wall over by my business license. So, yep. So, that is it, you guys. That's all I have left for my 9x12s and 10x10s. And let me know what you guys think. Um, if you're... I, I still have other sizes still. I've got 16x20s, 10x20, 14x14, 11x14s, oh, 12x12s. Um, I think I've already posted some Dutch pours that were done by 12 by 12. So I have all of those that you guys have seen. So I still have a few left to show you. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Oh, and I have coasters and lots of jewelry over there and back over there. Lots of coasters. So I still have a few left to show you. If you I hope you guys are enjoying these. I really enjoy showing you guys. I have done a lot, like a ton of work, and I haven't been able to show anybody, so this gives me the chance to do that, and it, it makes me makes me happy, you know. I, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, click the like button if you if you if you did. Uh, subscribe if you have not. Feel free to share my videos. Please share my videos. And, um, don't forget to hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload my next video. Tomorrow is Wednesday, August 14th, and I will probably be posting another video tomorrow of a painting. So, yeah, lots of videos coming, and I hope you enjoy this. So... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!